um, that individuals can still get uh, instructor support with. Uh, along with that, we also have a certification for engineers. So engineers can go through a test, and, and if, they, if they pass this test, then they are certified as infrastructure as a service. Uh, this is a hands-on test, so the, uh, the, the candidate uh, will have to perform certain objectives, and, um, and uh, it's not a multiple choice type of environment. And we offer this in a couple different ways. We offer it with our classes when people take a live class. And we also offer it in a kiosk. So we have, uh, uh, I believe, 45 kiosks around the world and remote proctors that they can monitor the exam. It's a two-hour exam. Um, and uh, if you pass the EX210, then uh, you have a certificate of expertise in infrastructure as a service. Um, I'll be at the booth later, so if you have any questions about our training and uh, any, would like any more details on the con content, I'm, I'll be more than happy to help you with that. Um, and uh, I'd like to give Hugo a few minutes to, to talk a little bit about our partner program and, and some of the software that we're certifying as part of OpenStack. This is on? All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. So Joe talked about what we're doing to certify people's skills. I'm going to talk about what Red Hat is doing to certify our partner products as well. So we have our certification strategy is kind of a dual prong. We want to make sure we support uh, our customers by preparing you know, the IT staff with the right skills. We also want to make sure we support the ecosystem by working with our partners and making sure the products are working well, everything in, in orchestration. So you know, we've been in the IT business for a long time and promoting new technologies. We love what OpenStack is doing and, and how it's transforming the IT industry. And uh, what we see if we're working with our customers is that they have one fundamental question when it comes to adopting new technology, and that's, does this work? Right? So OpenStack is, you know, is delivering on the promise of a virtualized uh, data center, the operating system for the cloud, but customers want to know, has this stack been tested before? Right, because it's not sufficient to get you know, the upstream and uh, which everything's going to work well automatically out of the box. They want some assurance that somebody has kind of walked down this path before. And customers ask us, well, OK, everything's fine. I get all the services. Is this fully supported? If I get my uh, neutral infrastructure, my center infrastructure, is somebody going to be you know, the one throat to choke or somebody's going to be willing to take my support call and fix if something goes wrong. Now, questions question we get all the time is, what are the best practices? How do I know that I'm configuring my, my environment correctly? How do I know that I'm taking full advantage of the infrastructure? And finally, how do I optimize it? You know, it's great. I see that Red Hat is working with many partners. How do I, how do I make sure I'm, I'm deploying this in an optimal way? Now, the way we're addressing this is by having a certification program for our partners. So partners that are delivering components of OpenStack come to us and want to make sure we do the end-to-end -end testing. And, and what we call this is hardening the ecosystem. Uh, if you know a little bit about Red Hat's history, we work with Linux, the operating system, trying to harden it and make it fully supportable and enterprise ready. We're trying to do the same for OpenStack. And we're working with our partners to validate and make sure that their solution is working well with Red Hat OpenStack technology. And I'll give you examples of some of the partners that we're working with today. And if, if you're a partner of us, if you're developing software and you join a partner network, we will give you access, early access to the software so you can be testing it ahead of time. So by the time it is released, your solution is fully supported. And something that's very important to us, you know, we, our, our bloodline is, is the support, and we make our business selling support uh, to, to our customers. We're delivering open source software, but at the end of the day, customers want this solution to be you know, fully supported. And we work with our partners to establish uh, support agreements, right? So if a customer has an issue and they call and have an escalation, we do the, the, the back end coordination with these partners to make sure that we can jointly work to address that issue. 
And finally, the best practices and configuration guidelines. Uh, they have to be well documented. So what we do is we have the certification program. Partners come to us, and we give them an automated test suite so that they deploy their solution. And that solution could be Neutron plugin, can be a Cinder driver. They test it on our platform. They document the best practices. And then we list their product as certified on Red Hat. Now, these are some examples of the kind of documentation that's coming out of our program. We're very excited by being working with some of the uh, leaders in the industry. And it's not just about doing the testing. It's about documenting findings. And you can see these are kind of snapshots of the documents that are coming out of our program. You know, interesting stuff we're doing with vendors like Mellanox, like NEC, like um, NetApp or Cisco. Now, as far as the roadmap, what we offer today is a certification program for whether you're providing a server to run as a compute node, or you're providing a plugin for Neutron, or you're providing a driver for Cinder. So today, you can go look at the list of certified components and feel confident that the basic pieces, the building blocks for compute, networking, and storage have been tested with our commercial implementation of OpenStack. Now, we had this for a while. We had it since we launched Grizzly. And for Havana, which is coming out, we have three new services that we can certify. We can certify vendors who provide a, a, a Swift implementation. We provide the, the Glance or the image service. And also, we're working with vendors who provide extensions to Neutron, like load balancing as a service or firewall as a service. So what you're going to be seeing over time is that we're going to have a list of all of the partners that provide these pieces and these building blocks that we have engaged with and tested, validated, and generated best practices for. And this is a snapshot of some of the partners we're working with. It's just a partial list. These are vendors who have already gone through that certification process. Some of these are hardware vendors who have hardware that is certified to run the OpenStack implementation. Some of these are network vendors. Some of these are storage vendors. Right? And these are ones that we got into our Grizzly release. We're working a much bigger list of partners for the Havana release that's coming out soon. So what I would encourage you, if you're a partner and you want to have your product be part of this ecosystem, please come to us. You can talk to me. I'm going to hang around at, at the end of the session. And if you're a customer, it's OK to ask, has this been tested together? Right? If I'm going to deploy OpenStack and I want critical infrastructure like networking or storage or compute nodes, I want to have some assurance that somebody has already done this, somebody has taken the effort to generate the best practices and can guide me through the process. So please uh, demand this from your open stack infrastructure. Ask for assurance that not only has this been tested, but there's a support agreement with the partners so that you can deploy with confidence that your solution is going to be fully supported and you can really call it enterprise ready. Okay. So that's what we have today for you. Now, I left some uh, passports on the seats. What we have is we have a little contest going on. Uh, if you collect that, and you can see some of the examples of the partners on that list. If you go to our partners booths and you collect stamps, and you turn that in at the Red Hat booth at the end, uh, you can, let's see, I, I want to make sure I, I say this correctly, because our legal department does not allow me to say we're going to have a raffle at the end. I think that's <laughs> concerning gambling here in Hong Kong. So I can say there's going to be a prize uh, while supplies last. So it's going to kind of be a, a drawing for interesting prices at the end. So please take one of these, go through our vendor's uh, booths, talk to them, ask them about OpenStack certification for Red Hat, get a stamp, turn it in our booth for Red Hat, and then you have to be present to win. Uh, so I'd invite you to come. At, at the, and, and the date of the drawing is uh, indicated on the passport. Yeah. So enjoy the show. Thanks for showing up. And please stop by a Red Hat booth and talk, uh, you know, feel free to talk to us more about certification. Yes, is there a question? I didn't hear it, sorry. Six. 6,000 nodes deployed. Uh, I'm not sure. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, any, any other questions, comments? And now, once I take off the mic, I'll, uh, Joe and I will be talking here to, uh, on the side if you want to talk to us about either skill certification, or what Joe talked about, or software certification. You can talk to me. Yes? Do you have any for the certification? 
Do we have any brochure for a certification? Um, we, we have some stuff online. Uh, I can, if you come by the booth, I can, I can take you to the page and, and, and take you through it. All right. Any other questions? Actually, I have a question for you. So I want you to tell me the name of one of our partners that we certify with. <laughs> That's an easy. All right. All right, Melanox, yes. Thank you, sir. Ask a question. Let's see whether we're paying attention. Uh, what, what is our, our new uh, class? How many days is our new class? Oh, that's a tricky Three question. days. Yeah. Got, yeah right. I don't know. There was Good. two of them there. There was another one. He, All right. Who it was, else? It was a tie. It was I? Who yeah. gave the right answer? Right here. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks again for joining us and enjoy the show. All right. Thank you.